Welcome back to Adobe Photoshop CC. In this tutorial we're going to cover sort of a brief overview of blend modes and explore the normal and dissolve modes uh, for blend modes. So here they all are listed basically in Photoshop in the gray area here. And as you can see uh, they're divided up in sections. So when you click on a layer here and actually you'll see them here, right here, the same divisions. You got normal dissolve and then so forth all the way down. So uh, we're going to break down each section in a future tutorial. We're going to sort of cover section by section. Um, but what I want you to understand right now is that uh, in order to understand how they work, we're going to switch to this opacity image here. So basically, the blend modes allow you to essentially blend two images together, two layers. And uh, in this image here, if I hold, basically turn off the grid here and turn off uh, this layer, uh, you can see here I have an ocean sort of background layer and then I have this uh, rubbish sort of layer which has a mask if I hold the shift key on it you can see what it's like at a hundred percent opacity then I have um, uh, type and grid here to explain what's going on here so if you don't understand the concept of hope, opacity here this will help you out so basically anything that's a hundred percent opaque you can't see through so you can see here we can't see to the ocean here which is the layer right below. Over on the left side, which is the complete opposite, uh, where it's completely transparent, it's 100% transparent, you see nothing but the ocean, okay? And in the middle, you have what is called a translucent area where the mix happens. And that's basically, you get a little bit of ocean with a little bit of the metal here. And that's essentially what blend modes do. They either give you completely opaque, some in between or some usually uh, these two here usually not transparent but they will allow some areas to be completely transparent or drop out so let's go back to blend modes here again we're gonna discover today the normal and the dissolve blend mode here um, and see that sort of the difference between those two uh, you can adjust the blend modes with the hotkey shift plus or minus both on a Mac and a PC as long as you don't have the paint, any of the brush tools selected, meaning your paintbrush, your um, eraser tool, um, any kind of brush, anything that comes with the brush, basically. So if I highlight in here and click on one of these, uh, I can hit Shift and then Plus or Minus, and it will go through each of those blend modes. Okay. Um, on a, a Mac or a PC. You can also use the um, up arrow or down arrow to kind of go through those arrows on a, a PC here. And a PC you can also roll through if you hover over it and roll with your mouse to go through all the blend modes. Okay, so um, like typically I have the um, rectangular marquee tool when I, I do this and I select one of these on the layer and then I can hit the shift uh, plus or minus and it will go through them or hit the arrow keys either one will do so um, that's basically over here the hot keys um, basically again we're gonna in future tutorials go to over each section what they do you can kinda see what they say here uh, but let's explore the normal mode which is the most common and then dissolve mode uh, through a series of images so I'm gonna show you this image here which uh, basically is from New Orleans I took this picture in a previous tutorial I, I demonstrated this where I create a mask here so if I remove the mask, you can see the um, the entire image here. I duplicate it and then I fill it in black to make a silhouette like this. But what I'm going to do is in this composite here, uh, I have brought it over into this image here. So let's uh, first explore normal and then we'll talk about um, the dissolve mode. So if I zoom in on this image here, you'll see where areas where it's transparent or opaque, you know, you can see through in the book here. And if I change the uh, blend mode from normal to dissolve the difference is that the edges become sort of broken up it has this dithering effect where um, you know you just see a more sort of broken up edge which can sometimes be quite pleasant so uh, but essentially with normal and dissolve there's no math involved with blending layers below you're essentially seeing 100% opacity so the opacity here if I drop the opacity slider, of course you can see through to the image, but typically with normal, it's 100%, so it's the easiest to remember, can't see through. Um, and then the dissolve mode, 
typically gives you this sort of uh, broken up edge, which sometimes can be a nice effect. For example, the type here, which has this really nice sort of, um, almost like it's been printed, the, the type on this paper here. We're gonna see how to do this effect here. I'm just gonna turn this layer off with this type that I have uh, created here. So basically I just create this type here, which says New Orleans, and then all I'm gonna do is uh, basically hit Control T to go into free transform mode or Command T on a Mac. And then I'm gonna hold the Control or the Command key and click on the corners, which allows you to kind of skew the, uh, the text the, so I can grab it and kind of you know, basically nudge it over so it feels like it's essentially lining up with the uh, paper here. So I think I'm going to do something like that and then uh, click return or enter on a PC. So I have the type now, it looks like it could be on the page. Now I'm going to apply a bevel and emboss on it. So if I double click on the layer, I bring up the layer styles menu. And, you know, to bring up layer styles, you don't want to double click on the type because that basically will rename it. Um, you don't want to double click on the T because that'll basically highlight the text and give you the options up here for your typeface that you have selected. You want to make sure you double click in the gray area of the layer and that brings up your layer style effects. And the one we're going to explore here is the bevel and boss. We're going to click on the word. If you just click on uh, the checkbox, you'll see that you know you get a bevel and boss, but there's no options here until you click on the actual word bevel and boss. So in here, I'm going to choose inner bevel. And pretty much, I, I have a depth of 136, looks like size of 13. I'm just leaving the, the options I had here before, and zero, and direction up. You can have these same settings, you don't have to. But the main thing is down here, this little circle widget. If you click this little uh, circle here, it'll change the direction of the light of that bevel. And so what I kind of want to have is the light coming from above, sort of top left. And so if I move the little circle to top left, I'll get that sort of effect here. So I'll go ahead and click OK to apply it. And then if I zoom in, you can kind of see that effect. So the light's coming from the top and it's sort of bouncing in there like that. Now, uh, what I'm gonna do to add interest here, this is really interesting. There's this option here, which is called fill. Before we talked about opacity in that first image here, you know, which basically goes from 100% to zero, the uh, fill allows you to essentially keep styled effects while getting rid of the actual type itself uh, or image, the actual uh, color and information and so forth. So watch this, I'm gonna drop the fill all the way down to zero and you'll see here the styling effects there but the uh, color and everything has gone away. Now what I can do is instead of normal, change to dissolve and I get this nice kind of almost sort of printed quality here that looks kind of cool. Now this uh, bevel and boss, if I double click on it, I can always adjust it. Click on the word bevel and boss, because maybe I want the light to sort of come from the right here to give you this kind of effect, you know, or above, you know, directly above. So, you know, which also gives you a nice effect. All you gotta do is click OK to apply and there it is. And so now we got some cool sort of embossed type that has a slightly uh, ratter, uh, ratty kind of effect in the dissolve mode. Typically this is the only way, uh, reason why I use the dissolve mode pretty much is this kind of effect here. Uh, you are seeing a little bit of trace here it looks like from the mask so I could select the mask and just paint that out. Looks like I missed a couple of little areas here. But uh, that's the basic overview of blend modes. Uh, you know, um, basically just showing the blend modes, how to navigate through them, the concept of opacity and uh, exploring basically the normal blending which has no blending really the normal in dissolve modes uh, they're both at a pretty much 100 percent opacity but as you can see with the uh, dissolve mode you can have some interesting effects so until next time see you soon in adobe photoshop cc cheers